All right, so let's get started. Um, so for this car, I want to start from the bonnet and move all the way down here, and then create uh, sides over here and just sling them both together. Um, all right, so let's get started. So first off, let's create a plane. Um, Again, I'm going to be moving pretty fast in this tutorial uh, because it's quite a difficult car and you should have picked up a lot of skills through uh, modeling easier cars than this. Okay, convert that, editable poly, and so I set these two vertices to zero. Okay, um, what I want to do is just select the blueprints and just smooth them to zero. Mm. I'm gonna move them just a bit more. So they match. Um. Right, so that's my zero line. Okay. Oh Of course, I shouldn't be doing this, but um, as long as you adjust it correctly, uh, you should be alright. Okay. So, um, I'm going to be modeling bonnet or pretty much every part along its seams. So, the seams are over here. Well, this seam is over here, but I'm going to start here and then uh, extrude it downwards. Remember, anything along the symmetry line doesn't move left or right. Uh, from the top view, that is. Okay. I chose. I had a choice between this point and that point, and uh, I chose this point. One because it's connected to a line that stretches all the way over here. Two because I'm gonna use the insert vertex tool uh, later on to create that point. Okay. Um, Let's adjust it from the other views. Here. Right. Okay, um. that's pretty close. The reason why this point is placed over here is because this bonnet uh, moves downwards below the wheel arc over here, and so you can't really see it. So the wheel arc covers it. So as long as you know which point uh, references to where, uh, you'll be okay. Okay. Um, that's all right. What I want to do now is connect uh, with. Let's go with three point, the three segments. Sorry. Okay. Just gonna have a basic reference. All right, and set it up. Actually, let's do it from the top view first. As you can see, I'm not explaining every little step anymore. Um, this is all just basic tools you need to know how to use. Just put this one here, and that one's okay. Okay, let's connect these with. Um, Let's go with one for now. Okay, I'm just going to lift these up just a bit to create a nice smooth curve down here. Actually, slow it down. Mm. 
should be alright. They're pretty much back where they started. Um, okay. Uh, let's insert vertex over here and move that vertex here. Okay. Might seem weird now, but uh, we'll create more connections later on. Okay. So, just for now, let's add some modifiers. Modifiers uh, define the final result for us. So, let's add a symmetry modifier, hit flip and hit mirror and just move it to adjust it the way you like. And mesh smooth. Iterations to two. Okay, check the geometry, it's all okay, no mistakes. Uh, yep, it's all good. You'd be surprised sometimes because some models, uh, you model something simple like this, and you look at it in uh, just your polygon view, and you think there are no mistakes, but sometimes there are hidden, uh, it hides like three vertices in one point, and you'd never know unless you just check your geometry through Mesh Smooth and actually display a wireframe. Make sure all your lines look nice and neat and clear. Okay, so as you can see, we created a nice curve over here, nice curve over here, and clearly defined points over here. Okay, now what I want to do is finish up the bonnet. There we go. Just going to drag this edge outwards just slightly. And fix these points up. Okay, now let's look at it from the front view. It's pretty much set. Don't need to do much to that. Um, again, the good thing about this card is that it teaches you how to follow blueprints while overlaying parts of your model. So we created the bonnet over here, and now we're going to have to create the sides of here, the wheel arc and all that, while trying to ignore this part. Uh, there are a few ways to do that, so uh, I'll explain them as we go along. Okay. Um, Push this down just a bit. Okay, geometry looks good. Okay, uh, now you don't have to do this. I'm just explaining something. Later on, we're going to be chamfering uh, this edge right here so that it looks nice and cornered and um, uh, like a nice hardened edge over here. Uh, nice clean model. But I don't want to do any chamfering right now because we're going to do a lot more adjustments later on. I like to leave chamfering to the end, um, just so we can chamfer everything together rather than in separate parts. Um, okay, I just want to check the curve over here. Okay. I think that pretty much does it for the bonnet. Uh, if there's anything else, we'll uh, finish it as soon as we create that. Yeah, so what I want to do now is take these edges and extrude them all the way around here and create this front grill over here. 